down your throat all day, huh? First of all, I'm willing to pay $10 for a paper cup, let alone $10 for a wiener. Does you know how hard it is to find a good quality wiener these days? They're like 30% mammal. Like your wife? That's my wife, moron. What's your name, mister? Bill. Don't mess with me. You should be wearing your name tag, Wilba. Oh, look at that. It looked like it magically disappeared. I talked to my husband about you before. You know what I told him? You're nothing but a slouch and a new stuff. First of all, I ain't no loser. But second of all, I stand up pretty good for myself. Thank you. I'm tired of you. You're fired. Get out of here. Oh, you gonna fire me? Ladies and gentlemen, you see these nasty hot dogs they call wieners? I wouldn't pay a nickel for them. And you know what, lady? The whips that's on that menu, they're mine. So you can take your wieners and do whatever you want to do with them. You're fired. Forget you. Crazier things have happened, I can assure you. In this particular hiccup, has already been dealt with. No. I'm trying to quit. Listen, I got a guy turned to stone here. That's crazy. Like he was scared to death. You calmly handing out candy? That's insane. So if you'll excuse me. Have a nice day. Yeah, right. Creepy place you got here. government papers. How are things, Stacy? Things? Oh, things are good, Ricky. <laughs> Real, really good. You know, I got a. Uh... I got the business moving forward. I want to open up the storefront, and uh, at that point, all I got to do is get customers. And... That's the only way I can make some money at this if I just 
you know, get a couple of customers. Working out well for you, huh? Look, I'm yeah. calling you because I'm concerned about my system, little Joey. Oh, yeah, Ricky. I, I, I got you. Got you, Ricky. Please, shut up. Are you staying clean? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, man, I, I'm clean. Wait, what do you mean? So I'm doing this for my sister, you understand? Because I'm concerned about her well-being. You hear me, moron? So, I got a job leave for you, you understand? You got to be on top of it. Uh, yeah, Ricky, for sure. You don't screw this up, you're picking up on dropping off. So help me God. Show up tomorrow, 33rd Thompson Drive, you understand? Yeah, Ricky, well, what's the job? It's some kind of security thing. You're going to meet a guy there I know. No, being like 12? Of course, when are you thinking? It's 5 o'clock? Okay, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll be there, man. Look, don't screw this up. I'm going to break your legs, you understand? Uh, yeah, Ricky, you can count on me. I, I, I'm going to I'm gonna stick to it. Yeah, just like the eviction papers. You had stuck on your door yesterday. What? No. <laughs> Fiction, Ricky. Ricky. What an idiot. Do you think he's mad at us? Excuse me. Excuse me. Has this been fixed? Has the chamber been resealed? It was locked when we got here. Good, so then it's been fixed. Nah. What does nah mean? Nah. Means nah. This is highly sensitive equipment you got here, Chief. Okay, this ain't a refrigerator. <clears throat> First of all, I'm a director, not a chief. And secondly, I have the mayor coming in here to inspect this place, and he holds the key to funding millions for this institution, so I can't exactly say to him, Nah. <laughs> Listen, uh, Mr. Director, Chief, do you want this thing installed correctly? Because if so, you're going to have to be a little bit more patient. Look, I don't want to sound like a dictator here, but I need this fixed. A-S-A-F-N-P. Okay, you got it. Hey, everyone, wrap it up! Mr. Director, Chief, Morpheus guy wants this wrapped up A-S-A -A friggin' P. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? I, I need this fixed. It's gonna take a little time here, boss. Okay, I got the system listening, but if you want it running at 100%, you're gonna have to give it a little time, yeah? Look, we'll run the appropriate diagnostics to make sure that it's running as expected. All right? Suit yourself there, Chief. Thank you. Oh, hey. You don't sound like a dictator. You are one. Hey, what is he, better than us or something? you a job downtown on Saturday. Yeah. Why, is that a problem? Yeah. Man, it... Man. Little Joey! It's his birthday, Casey! Oh, man. You see? This is what I'm talking about. You need to prioritize. Focus, Casey. Focus! <laughs> Stupid. Are you done yet? Yeah. Fix it with your son. Are you gonna lose him too? I almost forgot. Ricky gave me this bag for the job. 
Good luck, Casey. Shave. Uh-uh, neighbor. Now keep your eyes on your own two legs. Hey, my sweetheart. I haven't seen you all week. I promise I didn't neglect you. I'll take you on for a spin when the weather gets better. And you're gonna be nicey nice. And we're gonna hang out. Just gonna be me and you like good old times. Nobody's gonna bother me. No one's gonna do nothing. We're just gonna hang out, baby, all right? Mwah, you're so nice. Gotta clean this body of yours over here. Nicey nice. I gotta make you look shining and young and pretty like you are. Oh, sweetheart, I missed you. I'm so glad you're back in here. I know you did not just bump into me. Not on purpose. That's stop. Look, I'm looking for 33 Thomas Drive. You're going the wrong way. That's 33 Thomas Drive right over there. Man, come on. The name is Will. applications that we get. And these are the two idiots they sent me. Please move to the side door. Remember that movie where the guys was chasing the aliens, man? No. Uh-uh, I've never seen it. You gotta be kidding me. Come on. Hey, sir. It's our first day on the job. Do you know who we need to talk to? Who? I don't know. I'm asking you, do you know who we need to talk to? Who? I don't know. Who do we talk to, man? Who will talk to you? You can take that downstairs. Man, you real funny. You know what? I'm gonna be watching you. Come on, man. therein are highly classified. You could consider them organic databases. Access granted. See that? All clear. Your job is very simple. 
On an hourly basis, the two of you are going to come by and secure these machines with that card. Well, what if something goes wrong? Nothing's going to go wrong. We spent a lot of money updating the systems to prevent failures and shutdowns. So long as these lights stay on and solid, everything will be fine. Well, what happens if it doesn't stay solid? <laughs> what was your name? Will. Well. Will? It doesn't take a genius to follow instructions. Just do what you're told, and things will be fine. Now, your first shift starts in two hours. Now keep in mind, remember, this is your first 24-hour shift, which runs to Saturday. I suggest you clear your minds and be ready to go. Oh, Joey. Man, I need to call human resources. I didn't sign up for this. I gotta call my son. Hello? Hey there, Tiger. You're dead. How you doing, bud? I'm level 10 on Monster Command. Hey, are you coming for my birthday? Um, look, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try, but I, I got... Right. I really wanted to spend the day with you. So, you're not gonna make it to my birthday? Look, hey, maybe I can make it up to you the next day? Can't. Mom already set something up. Look, I'm sorry, bud. Oh, my bad. And I wear comfortable shoes on my break. Man, that's none of my business, but you cute as hell. What you do here? I'm exterior patrol for this building. Am I gonna have to cite you a ticket for being illegally parked? Here you go. Do I need to cite you a ticket for being illegally fined? Wow, a typical man flirting it up with the officer. Man, ain't nobody flirting with you. Guys, I just call it how I see it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Careful now. I got a ring on my finger. What's that little ring gonna do? You trying to deter those creeps away? And why ain't you disciplined yet? Oh, now I'm a creep? <laughs> hey, hold up. Wait! My name is Will. Damn. All right, children. You're all locked in. Your 24-hour shift starts now. Please keep in mind your shift will be monitored externally. And you should have no problems. However, if there is one, and please let me reiterate, there will not be, you will need to use the red phone in the facility located to the right of you. My right. Now, I do hate to be a dictator, but any two morons with a thumb can do this job. So, I expect kindness and professionalism at all times. Have a good show, gentlemen. Welcome to the the Long Lines building. Mm. Joey, be nice. Hey, it's something like
like it might be some kind of top government secret thing going on there that we not even supposed to know about. Man, I hope you can hear me, man. What kind of thing on basement down here? Man, I think you're just streaming too many movies. Come on, access. Get it up. Access granted. Coming, right? Ma'am? Uh ma'am <clears throat> ma'am? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to ask you to leave. <clears throat> don't ask me. Don't let me ask you again. We're gonna we're gonna ask you to leave! <laughs> Type in long lines building. Oh my gosh, Frankenstein's castles in New York. You ready for this? My dad works there. For the government? that ended up on the 11 o'clock news when he accidentally drove a semi-truck off the Brooklyn Bridge. That was your dad. Yeah, also the same guy that left four elephants from the city zoo. Wait. I remember that. Can you imagine him working in a government building? This is serious. What are you doing tonight? Warcraft. You still got access to your dad's little horror? <laughs> no way. He'd kill me. He's always out late just like my mom. Come on, you never know. Can you check the odometer, Joey? So, what we put on, we just take off. No. We drive backwards. <laughs> no. Come on, Carla. That time I took my mom's car to get you out of school, I got you out so you could just go shop with your friends. That's not fair. That was a different circumstance. What's so important, Joey? What's so important is that we need to save my dad from New York. <sighs> the things I do for you.
Hello. Yeah, what's the news? Oh, I bet you swore on the extra job downtown. You have to be so rough, Ricky. Oh, what is all this for? Anyway, I got him a job. I'm doing him a little favor. Yeah, thanks. Your timing is impeccable. He ended up working on little Joey's birthday. Holy crap! What? That freaking car car, that's what! Oh, Bobby, you a real one. She can't be that stupid! Carla! You know, I think that you need to take this job a little more seriously. Unit 2, out. My wife, Stella? Charmed. Likewise. I'm looking forward to hearing about those updates. Yes, it's going to be beyond belief. I'll bet. That's the creepiest building I've ever seen. Yo, my dad notoriously picks the creepiest places to work in the So, what now? I'm gonna go help my dad. Are you kidding me? That place is loaded with cameras. A place that's owned by the NSA, the CIA, possibly even... I know, it's cool, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh, you're just as crazy as your dad. Yo. Hey, what are you kids doing here so late? Um, we're on a government mission to protect and serve. You got another story? My dad's an idiot, and he works security in this building. I, I, fear, the, I fear the worst for him. That's an honest answer.
Hello? Hello? Wait, who is this? I think the ghost has your radio. No, man. No, hell no. Security. Dad? Joey, is that you? I came to help you because I know you can't handle stress too well. You know, the kid is right. Is your mom there? No, she's not. I want you to hightail at home, mister. We'll talk about this later. But I came to help you. Oh, Joey. This is Officer Arlene Ramirez. I will keep your boy safe. And if you need help, I'll manage to assist you. Hold up, man. Hey, is this that fine little dish I made at the vending machine the other day? Well, let's keep it professional, okay? All right. Well, you know what? Don't go too far, baby. I'll be seeing you soon. Listen, Arlene. Some really crazy stuff is happening with this system. We really need help. Okay. I'm switching over to a different channel momentarily. You got the report that I sent you, right? Yes, I did. Well, aside from the idiots that I work with, there is a cryogenic chamber that needs to be resealed. The city is losing millions of dollars. We have to get this resolved. Would you excuse me for a moment? The system's been breached. You had better not let any of them out of the building. Do you understand me? My dad hates me. I don't think so. You want to know what I think? I think he's concerned, and he wants you safe. But I came here to help him. That speaks volumes. You're coming here. Believe me. Miss Officer. Yeah? Next time you speak to him, can you tell him not to screw up? <laughs> Will do.
Hey, bud. You're here. I came to help you. Wilbur? You didn't make it. Where's the other genius? He didn't make it. Well, I'm holding you both personally responsible if anything happens to my son. A moron! The block of the fire! I am the director. I'm sorry, am I ruining the freaking block party now? Hey, you! You managed to do the job that I got for you, moron? Yeah, you did one job. You shut up! Hey, can we please focus on the situation here? I'm not talking until I get some answers. Ah, oh, there you are. You're in trouble, young lady. Watch when we get home, watch what's gonna happen.
Go back in your house. Mind your business. Yeah, turn around. Ricky, what is going on? I got your ex more on a job downtown and make love like an ear for the Bay of New York. That's what's going on. Kids, get in the house. And stay inside. Ricky, what is going on in New York City? Yeah, Jan, all stuff's testament stuff like the Bible says. Cats and dogs coming out of the sky. Mass is terror. It's bananas over it. It's crazy. Have you been drinking? Nah, but it's a good time to start. Go inside, give me your jacket, call on the rocks, please. She's in shock, like millions more in this city right now. Come on in. Who? You better have an answer for this. They keep sending me idiots to guard the tomb, sir. Idiots, huh? Mr. Mayor, we have the tools and the weapons to take care of a problem just like this. Who exactly are these idiots you're speaking of? I don't want to sound like a dick, Tater. But how many geniuses do you know of go by the name of Casey and Wilbur? What's your role in this, sir? That's classified, sir. Man, man, these things are really out there. I've seen them with my own eyes. Right? There was this bimbo ghost. She, she looked right at me. Tell me about the weapon. If I can direct your attention up here, there is a giant green object that has been floating above this building for over an hour. We aren't sure what to make of it. Let's go ahead and ask this gentleman and see if he has any information for us. Excuse me, sir, sir, hi. Nighttime news. Can you tell us what's going on here? Uh, yeah. Mom! Security team that was Mom, come in here! Dad's on TV! Situation we got here. Look, you know how- Bloody do this time. As a New Yorker myself, we will stand strong. We will fight this thing and we will win. What is going on here? Nah, no more questions. What? What? You never, ever let anyone know details on a covert operation. Especially when we're in a stolen military vehicle. Stole. You stole this truck? I, I just thought you were in deep with the military. Are you insane? This is the only way we can get rid of the phantasms. <laughs> we're done. The military's gonna throw us in the pokey for sure. 
The pokey? The clink, the joint, the who scout, you know, jail? My husband is in trouble, and I need to be there to support him. Ricky doesn't make the rules. So, you like that again? No, I, yeah. I, I don't know. Anyway, it's not gonna change the fact that he's gonna be pissed. Watch your mouth. Ricky doesn't make the rules. <laughs> sure about that? general direction will be fine. Then what? Then we follow the screams. Devastation. So obviously the money has not gone into security. We'll find the responsible party. 
Who would take something like this? Yeah, where'd it go? Central Park. Central Park. Central Park. It's in the middle of the city. <laughs> Who knew? Uh, what are you doing? What is that? It's a tick. What's a tick? It's like a GPS. It centralizes a point in space to open a vortex. It guides the sky splitter so it can direct a force beam. Great. What's a sky splitter? It's a high energy weapon. Please stop asking so many questions, Casey. Wouldn't stand too close to it. It's gonna start building a magnetic pole. What? That little thing? I mean, what could happen? It would be bad. Try to imagine all life as you know it stopping instantaneously. Every molecule in your body exploding at the speed of light. Um, <laughs> well, thanks for uh, the tip. Um, <laughs> safety. Um, I'm gonna go check myself before I wreck myself. Things like that are rapidly help. Oh. Uh. Sucker up. Hey, brother, step back, get a slice of pizza, and all this is going on. Hey, get off that truck! Man. Hey, Mr. Mayor.
Casey is totally incapable of handling this on his own. Yeah, I know this. You know I'm right, Jenna. Excuse me? Get back in the car, little miss. It strikes me that your husband- Excuse me, ex-husband. Can't substantially play a father because his inability to express support is fractured by his anxiety driven by separation from Joey. You sound just like your father. So he needs our total undivided attention. Auntie Jenna, by the way. The freaking ghost got my car! Looks like your dad just got here. What are we gonna do? Huh? What are you gonna do? Just eat pizza? What are you gonna eat, licorice? Break the beam now! Dad, you're choking up on the gun too much. You're letting the gun overpower you. Remember? Titanfall, Overwatch, aggressive is okay. Just time your shots. What the hell is going on? to get your butt kicked.
Sorry to have ruined your birthday, son. This is the best birthday ever. Well, just remember that the next time that uh, I forget your birthday. Don't, don't ruin it. Just shut up. Been damaged. Hey, your weapon, what about my car, moron? What your car? You messed up my car. guy that gave Wilbur a hard time. What's your point? All I know is I'm in a pickle. Well, how's that? Someone's gonna have to replace. Wait, who, who are you? Owner of the tomb facility. Huh? You're just the man I want to speak to. Who, me? Someone's gonna have to manage and get the facility back into shape. And you, and you want me to do it? Of course. I've been watching you. Looks like you're the right man to do it. What do you say? Well, yeah, I accept. <laughs> Did you plan this? Oh, no, I just... Uh, sh don't ruin it. You shame. Show this guy, you know? Yeah. There was that, that was there was a, I think it was green, that one green ghost. Yes. Yes. yes I that, saw that. that we were chasing him with, uh, with Ricky. With, yeah. With your dad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then there was this one green, uh, no, not green, yellow one that mm -hmm. I could not hit. It was yeah, just I like, saw that. He was you just got him though. You got him though. Yeah, at the end. He's just like sucked up into the beam. Hey, do you want to play Warcraft? Uh, or whatever game. My house or your house? Yours. Mine? Okay. There was, so much better. There was this one where he was like, yes. Yeah. So, you want to go get some breakfast? <laughs> you know I do. I think about getting some gelato. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> no, but uh, hold on. First things first. What about that ring on your finger? I mean... I guess I don't need it anymore. Whoa, you trying to propose to me already? No, Wilbur. Come on. Look, Do you so ever turn it off? Man, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got that effect on women. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? You afraid of some ghosts? Man, I
Two guys. guys. Aren't we gonna need a runway? Runway? Where we're going, we won't need runways.
Are you still here? You can go home now. I think you can take that popcorn with you. Go on. The movie's over. The ghosts are gone. The hero won. Go home. All right, good. That's a wrap. Oh, here you go, sir. Yeah, let's just uh, clean these up for you. Right, here you go, sir.